So you've selected the right community fair or event for your business to participate in. You have a stellar table set up and it's working because people are stopping by. But what do you do now? How do you engage event attendees once they are in front of you? Hi y'all, I'm Vivian Walton, the seasoned marketer, and my channel is all about sharing marketing tips, tools, and tactics with resourceful business owners. This video is the last of a three-part series focusing on community events and fairs. In my last video, I shared with you creative ideas for table setup. And if you want to check that video out, it's linked above, or you can access it by visiting my website at theseasonmarketer.com. In today's video, we'll review some conversation starters, how to engage people once they are in front of you. Today, I'm going to go over some conversation starters, how to engage people once they are in front of you. So for the format of this video, I've divided this into a very simple do's and don'ts list. So let's start with the don'ts. Don't stand behind your table and definitely do not sit down in a chair behind your table. The table is a physical barrier between you and the attendees at the event. Doing something as simple as standing to the side of your table or in front of it can help soften the interaction between you and your potential customers. By standing in front of the table as people are walking by, it can seem much more welcoming because it changes the dynamic between you and the attendee. When someone is behind a table trying to get your attention or talk to you, it automatically seems like they are talking at you and not to you. So do not stand behind your table and launch questions at people while they are walking by. Have you ever tried this weight loss shake? Do you have an insurance agent? Are you looking to sell your home? Instead, stand in front of your table and start a genuine conversation. I like to lead with a comment about the attendee. For example, if I notice they are wearing a veteran hat, I'll smile and say, thank you for your service. Which branch did you serve in? They appreciate that I'm taking notice and it allows them to tell me more about themselves. Don't be dismissive of people. There is nothing ruder than you striking up a conversation only to immediately disengage or act disinterested when you find out that that person already has an insurance agent or isn't in immediate need of whatever service or product you're selling. I can tell you from personal experience that you can gather valuable information from continuing the conversation even if someone uses your competitor. I'll give you a perfect example. I work for a healthcare organization and while working an event, an attendee told me that she used a local competitor. Editor. I kept the conversation going only to find out that her mother was actually a patient of ours before she passed and she really loved her mother's physician and the care her mother received from the physician. The only reason she herself was not a patient of ours was that she had heard that her mother's physician was not accepting new patients. I was able to inform her that the same physician was indeed accepting new patients and that she even had more availability in her practice now because she had brought on some help. By the end of the conversation, the attendant had given me permission to have the practice call her on Monday morning to set up an appointment for her. Had I ended the conversation early, I would have missed out on an opportunity to not only convert her into a patient of ours, but most importantly, reconnect her with a physician that she knew and loved. Don't focus all of your attention on giving away promotional materials. Too many times I see vendors simply giving promotional products away to attendees, dropping them in their tote bags or luring them in by saying, want a free koozie? While missing perfectly good opportunities to engage further. It's a rabbit hole, I tell you. If you get in the habit of making your interactions with attendees all about the promotional products, you will leave empty handed with no leftover promotional products and absolutely no sales or potential sales. You can certainly lead with the promotional item to generate interest in your table, but make sure you engage with the attendee after you've handed them the item. For example, I like to use bags with handles because it is usually needed. People will walk around collecting items and want a bag to put those items in. So I'll stand in front of the table, have a bag in hand, and help someone out by simply saying, can I offer you a bag to put all of your goodies in? As I hold the bag open for them, I'll start up a conversation about whether or not they are new to the area. I'll explain to you why I use this question in the do's section. Okay, so now let's move on to the do's. Do arrive and set up early so that you have time prior to the event to walk around and introduce yourself to the other vendors. It is just as valuable to connect with fellow vendors as it is to connect with attendees because it can provide opportunities for future partnership and collaboration. It also helps to get your name out there amongst other business owners. So what do you say to other fellow participants? 
Try something like this. Hi, my name is Vivian, owner of The Season Marketer, and I have a table set up three booths down from you. I just wanted to stop by and introduce myself. Is this your first time at this event? By asking a question, you are leaving it open-ended so to engage them in conversation. Naturally, they'll answer the question and introduce themselves as well. You can ask for a business card so that you can connect with them. Remember to relax and just have a genuine conversation with them. You have no hidden agenda and you are just there to connect. Do learn more about the person in front of you. Yes, you are there to sell your product, but you need to ask questions to learn more about the person standing in front of you in order to know how to introduce your product or service. For example, I live in Charleston, and in recent years we have seen a rapid growth due to industry relocating here and also because it is a beautiful place to live and retire. So since I am out at these events representing a local healthcare organization, the one thing I like to ask is, are you new to the area or did you grow up in Charleston? While the question seems basic, it lets me know whether or not someone may be looking for a family physician. Most people try and establish the basics, family physician included, within three months of moving to a town or new area. So if they tell me that they just recently moved here, it leads me into asking whether or not they have established with a family physician yet. If they have been in the community for a while, since we have many offices here, I then ask, oh, do you see one of our physicians? Either way, it leads me straight to the, into the conversation conversation pretty quickly. I recommend that you find a question that will do the same for you, regardless of what industry you're in. Do take notes. Come prepared and bring a printed spreadsheet or small notebook where you can take notes. If you find that you're engaging with people and you want to follow up with them in the coming weeks, you'll want to collect their information, a name, phone number, or email address, and also add in some notes or details about what you're following up with them about. It will make it easier for you to jog their memory, show that you were paying attention to them, and also make it more effective for when you do connect because now you can tailor your message to them. Don't be shy about asking to reach out after the event. Simply introduce the idea by saying, it was a pleasure to meet you today. Do you mind if I send you more information on Monday regarding how this oil can help you with your migraines? I hope these conversation starters will help you engage with event attendees once they are in front of you. The biggest piece of advice I can give you is to be helpful. Pushing your product or service onto people that don't need it or want it won't do anybody any good. Instead, find out more about the people coming to your booth and find out how you can help them, even if it means not making a sale that day. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button. Also, if you want more marketing tips, tools, or tactics for your business, visit my website at thisseasonmarketer.com. Now tell me, what is a conversation starter that you like to use that gets you results. Let me know by leaving it in the comments below.